Hi everybody. Um, I have to get really close to my microphone because it's evidently junk, but I'm working on getting a new camera set up. I just have to smooth it over with the hubby. But um, this, working on this um, Dollar Tree sign, it's the first time I've ever worked with these, or this, what do you call it, MDF board? I don't know what you call it, it's just pressed paper basically. But um, I do have actual wood and I have the saws, but I saw, saw, ha, um, she's so crafty, make faux wood signs, and I just had to try it. She is so awesome, such an awesome crafter. Um, I think I figured out how to link her video into my description, so I'm going to try to do that. Um, but she's fantastic. And anyway, I struggled with these. I really did, especially the cutting. Um, you know, you cut, you score it, and then you snap it. Well, I wasn't getting any clean snaps, so every time I did that, it was uneven. I had to go back in with my um, utility knife and cut the chunks off. I don't know if that's normal or not because I've not used these before, but I think they turned out really well. Um, I, I, I hope you guys like them. I really do. And I decided to make it um, uh, seasonal. So, not seasonal. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Put a piece of Velcro on it and a Velcro on my little um, fall wreath. Um, so that when I, you know, when it comes Christmas time, I'll have a little Christmas wreath I'll be able to put up on it. And I only did it with one of them because I only have one wreath. But. Um, I'll probably do it to both, um, but anyways, I think they turned out great, and if it wasn't for the She's So Crafty uh, video, I never would have known how to do this. It's just fantastic. So, um, stay tuned, check it out, and then go check her out. She's, she's awesome. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit like, and I hope you subscribe. Okay, let's get started. So, for this craft you will need four of the Dollar Tree long signs I guess they're seasonal signs I happen to have the Valentine's Day as you can see um, some chalk paint I used linen white and some Waverly antique wax and um, some glue of course hot glue and um, wood glue sorry I'm trying to speak directly into the microphone and I show you that I'm going to use black paint but I actually tried it and didn't like it so I actually think I'm pretty sure I cut it out of the video but if you see me using it just ignore that part um, so right off the get-go, one thing that I would do different is I would buy five of those signs because even though I love the way these things turned out, I think I would have liked it better if I had made the Z shape with the pieces that you put on the front of your um, door. I think I would have liked it better if it was a Z, but I did not buy four. So, um, anyway, I really struggled with this stuff. I, I don't like working with it. I'm just going to tell you straight up. Um, so after I picked off these hearts, you know, you have the torn, um, cardboard or whatever it is, or whatever that paper is that's on top of there. Well, I tried to peel it off and it didn't work. Um, I did get some big chunks off of some of it. But the one, I don't get anything off of it. And when I paint it, you can still see the L-O-V-E in it. So, um, I think it's that one right there. Um, so basically, you're trying to cover the red. Um, the red, it, it really wasn't hard to cover. But, um, like I said, with the with the one sign you could still see the letters underneath um 
so I painted, I ended up giving that one a double dose of chalk paint and uh, it, you know, the end result is great, you're going to be covering it with the Waverly Wax, but you can still see it like it's raised, even though on the sign it's not raised, those letters are not raised, but it looked like it after I painted it, it looked like they had been raised, like they were raised letters. And another thing, even the one where, the one that I'm painting right there with no red on it, it came out bubbled. Here's the bubbles. Um, I'm not sure why it did that. But, so with the next two signs, I sanded them down first. And I did get a better result out of those two. So then I just had the one sign that I, that I painted initially um, that you could still see the L-O-V-E, so um, I would recommend sanding them first before you um, put the chalk paint on. Now, these signs are scored, that's why I decided to use the front. I wanted to have those lines in it, and this way I didn't have to make them myself. So, um, and on one of them, oh, you want to, when you sand it off, you want to make sure you get off all of their glue. And on one of my signs, it was actually in one of the score lines. So I had to really sand the heck out of that to get that nasty old glue out of there from, you know, from wherever they manufactured them. But um, anyways, you're going to paint everything, the sides. And here I am just getting the excess out of the, the uh, score lines there wood lines, whatever you call them. One of them had a pretty deep hole from where that glue was. I really had to dig it out to get it, you know, get that glue out of there. So anyways, that's all I'm showing you is that I used a, I have a cheap, it's not Cricut made, but I have a cheap tool that you're supposed to use for your vinyl that doesn't work. It's so flimsy, it just doesn't work. So I use it for all kinds of stuff. So it wasn't, I only paid like a dollar eighty for it at Burlington. But anyway, I'm finding the center here. Sorry, you know me, I have to drink while I'm talking. Drink a monster, that's all. I don't drink coffee, maybe I should. But anyways, I'm just finding the center of the extra board. So, you're going to take your two signs and we're going to attach another half sign to them to make our board or make our door sorry so I'm just marking this where I need to cut it to give half to one board and half to the other board so this was not easy for me I really did struggle with these but the end result is absolutely fantastic. I probably couldn't have done it with real wood. But um, anyway, um, the one time I was using a, a uh, carpet knife and I slammed it down into my leg when you know it went out of the box and into my leg. So I'm a little weary, I guess. So maybe that's why I had a harder time with it. But um, I, you know, I scored it, and I scored it, and I scored it, and then snapping them in half, I did not, it did not work out well, but I had to, you know, I just had to re-trim everything after I was done with it, but, you know, the end result, you know, the end justifies the means, because it was, it really did turn out good, but I don't like cutting with the with the uh, utility knife. I just don't like it. So I'm probably spitting on my camera because I'm so close trying to make sure I get a good sound quality because my, my last two videos you, you can barely hear me and I need video equipment soon. See I was trying to uh, break it there and I just keep on going, keep scoring, keep scoring, keep scoring until it gets um, down far enough to where you can actually snap it in half. 
but now I did enjoy making these signs because it's very time consuming and it kept my mind occupied which is very very important for me that's why I craft I don't craft for the glory and I don't you know most of the stuff I make I don't even put up I'm gonna be honest with you I give it away or I sell it I sold some of it but um, I haven't sold much I mean I make signs somebody sees what I post on Facebook and says hey I want one of those so then I figure up the cost and the shipping and um, that's about it I've sold a couple crosses and a couple of um, round like welcome signs um, those went over really well but I get a lot of anxiety okay so I'm gonna use um, leftover pieces of um, painter sticks paint sticks so instead of uh, cutting new new um, pieces for support I just went ahead and used up some of the old stuff that I had I'm keeping these signs these signs are going up on my wall so I knew it when I saw them from um, my fellow crafter um, I knew right away that I wanted them for my own wall but anyways that's what I'm doing here but I was saying that um, I get a lot of anxiety when I have people tell me that they want something because then I think oh it's not good enough they're gonna get it and they don't like it you know yada 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 I gotta hurry up and make it and I just don't think it's for me I would love to go set up at craft shows though where I already have everything done and you just pick you know pick what you want and you buy it that's the way I want to be so anyways I'm scoring these with my um, miter shears and those things are awesome I highly recommend um, you buy them they are cartol Gar gartol I don't know how you pronounce that G A R T O L and I did get them from Amazon and um, they're fantastic now I could have really really um, tried put more pressure on it and it would have cut those sticks with no problem I mean it it'll cut through um, the tumbling tower blocks the thickness there so but I don't want to um, first of all I don't want to break them I don't want to risk breaking them and I don't want to break my fingers um, I don't have a lot of hand strength anymore be, you know due to arthritis so I don't want to um, cause myself more pain than what it's worth I've had the carpal tunnel surgery on the right hand but the left hand I still have carpal tunnel I just haven't had the surgery because I, I just never used that hand you know so much so it doesn't cause me a lot of trouble um, but anyways this worked really well to hold the signs together um, I, I think you know if you're going to sell the sign or um, I don't know I don't even know you know what else I suppose if I was gonna sell it I would make it look a lot neater than that but since it's just mine I'm not gonna worry about it and you know I'm just thinking about it now I did not put hangers on my doors pretty much needs to have hangers on it but anyway um, so I got those attached then I do the other the other piece that way um, now I'm just um, making sure that you can see the line in the center where I put them together that's all I that's all I was doing there so when I start to paint you know you wait for your chalk paint to dry completely when you start with the Waverly I take that piece of cardboard that I have right there and I um, separate the um, slats I guess you know, the faux slats because um, you want you want it to look like different pieces of wood so if you just paint the whole thing then it all gets the same you know like the same coat and whatnot so by using that piece right there um, and then I jumped down I jumped around a little bit to let that dry a little bit um, before I move on to the next slat but that way um, it, it looks different it just makes it look different 
And another thing, I can't remember if I show it on here or not, is, you know, after it's about dry, after your coat is about dry, and we're not going to wipe this off, but you take your brush tip and you swirl it around to make little swirlies in it and it makes it look like wood knots and it really does work. Um, I thought I jumped to a different one, but I did not. But my goal is to make them different, you know, to make them look different. So I try to stay out of the groove and then I come back in later and I touch, touch up the white, the grooves a little bit. But the goal is to make them look like individual slats. So um, I did do that for the most part. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but you just don't want them, you know, you don't want to slather that stuff all over and just have the same, you know, have it looking the same all the way across. We want it to look like individual boards. So for one I did darker, then the next one I did lighter, but I left dark spots here and there um, because that's the way wood is. Natural wood has, you know, different textures in different places and that's what I was going for here. So I didn't want to speed it up too much because, you know, I hate that when you're watching a video and it goes by so fast that you can't see, you know, you can't actually see what someone's doing. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using the brush, um, you know, different, you know, make it look different in different patches here. So... And this was really, like I said, I really enjoyed making this. This was really uh, a good project for me. So, so I'm just going in and wiping on some spots here and there. If you kind of let them dry a little bit, then um, you know you go back in. You can make them look like wood knots and whatnot. So now I jump down to the, the second to the last one here. Um, give the other one a chance to dry up a little bit before I start painting again. Then if you let it dry and your brush touches it, um, it gives it a nice appearance also. I guess, I don't know if that made sense or not. It, it worked out in my mind. How'd it work out? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, it's 3.30 a.m. I We had a full weekend. We had our granddaughters. They're five and six. And oh my goodness, are they ever uh, time consuming. Of course, everyone thinks their kids or their grandkids are the best. But I truly have the best. The best ones ever. But they are something else. Um... So, I did take a nap yesterday. I actually got a nap. We They sleep with us in the bed, and they are all feet, let me tell you. She don't get a lot of sleep. So, we're going to get them a bed. We're just not set up for it yet because I have a bunch of um, old clothes and stuff I have to go through. And, you know, one big thing, I'm going to show you here. Look at that. How pretty that is. Um... Okay, I did show you the black. I tried to cut it out, but I did something wrong. I I mix it with the white. The white comes gushing out here. I mean, it just gushed, and uh, I was I was upset about that. But anyways, I was gonna go in the the in between the slats, and with the black. And once I started it, I was like, what am I doing? And I don't like this at all. So I um I didn't. I didn't complete it, so I don't recommend it at all. Like if you were, if you made your own, um, what the heck do you call that? If you made your own line in between the slats to make it look like there was holes, you know, or, or scores, I should say, like individual planks, then I would recommend the um, black and white or even gray 
um, but it doesn't work here for this I decided not to do that so see I you can see there where I made some circles um, I wished I had shown that on camera you just take your, the tip of your brush and you just go around in a circle but it is it works if you wait for it to dry up a little bit and then you get a little bit of paint on your tip of your brush and then you just set it down and twirl it into a circle and um, then just kind of lightly lightly brush over top of it so it kind of smears that circle a little bit and it um, it turns out really well so I'm just showing you here I went back in to cover the white um, in the cracks there um, and you know what it looked good with the white on it it just looked like uh, it was kind of rustic a little bit but that wasn't what I was going I'm going for rustic but just with the wood so I just went in and dulled the white down a little bit basically is all I did but, but I think it, it I think they turned out really well really nice um, yeah look at that definitely looks like real wood and you know by using that you can see there you can see the E from the love <sighs> hated that. Now, as soon as I seen, as soon as I started painting, I was like, "Oh no!" And then I felt, you know, the because I just painted over the E, I think, and I felt the other letters, and it's like, no, it's not. It's not even raised. It's not even a raised letter. Okay, so here I am now. I'm using the uh, fourth sign for the um, wood pieces that go across the rest. So, like I said, I had a heck of a time um, with the cutting. I did not like it. I did not like it at all. Even, you know, of course, when you cut, you make sure you don't come towards your body at all. And I had to learn that the hard way one time. But I don't want to um, relive that experience. So just be careful. Don't push too hard. But, I mean, that's where it comes. You have to push hard to get it to work. But if you push it too hard, then it, you, you run the risk of it, um, you know, sliding right out and cutting your fingers or, or your leg like I did. Um, I think I had five stitches in my leg from that. I buried it. I mean, I buried the blade in my leg. So, anyways, these are different sizes. Um, so, I should have went down to the bottom and measured instead of measuring both pieces here I'm checking it to make sure it's right make sure that's going to fit but um, I mean it, it's doll they're Dollar Tree signs they're not as they're not all even is what I should say so I'm just going to um, you know, absolutely use the boards to get my lines instead of just measuring and cutting. It just made it a lot easier that way. So I'm showing you that I did that. I get the first two pieces out and then I use another piece for the other one. I'm not sure what all I showed on camera. But um, so here, you know, the score, the break, the trim the score the score the break the trim I get too impatient anyway I'm really hoping the sound quality is good on this I listen to my other videos and I'm like I can't hear myself and it's so aggravating because I put a lot of time into this um, look I cut it crooked and I said oh well I tried to straighten it up and I made it worse but um, you can't tell it on the on the door. You can't tell it once it's put on there. So, anyways, um, those need to be painted. Don't forget the sides. So all four sides on these will be seen. Will be um, you know, you'll be able to see them. So, anyways, you want to follow the same technique. Um, 
you don't want them all to look the same. So, um, going on the white, it does, you know, the wax is made to be wiped off or rubbed in or whatever. And since you're not doing that, it, it does kind of, it's kind of smeary, I guess, would be a good word. But, um, it's just fantastic. It turned out so good. I was so glad that I saw her video. Because if I hadn't saw her video, I probably, they'd probably still be hanging on my wall. Um, I mean, I bought them in, probably bought them in January. And here it is October, almost Halloween. And I still hadn't used them. But, um, I've been trying to work with real, wor real wood. Easy for me to say. Um, you know, getting used to the saws and whatnot. So, you know, when I first got my Cricut, I was very intimidated. Um, when I first got my saws, I, if I thought I was intimidated with the Cricut, I had no idea what intimidated was. Because those saws really do intimidate me. And they should. I mean, I'd go out there and, and cut my fingers off. And that easy so while I'm working with the saws I'm very very careful okay so see you want some spots in your you want some spots you want some uh, you know you want it to look real because wood that's the way wood looks um, I don't know what I was just doing there oh there's my baby that's my babyest one that's Kennedy She's so sweet. She wanted to see herself. I love them kids so much. So here I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a circle on here. Just touching it up, making it look a little bit more realistic. Um, I thought that one was a little bit too light. I think. It was actually a break from the loudness upstairs. I come down here, just touch these up. It was pretty loud upstairs. Kids get pretty loud. Um, everybody talking. Me and my husband and my son and daughter-in-law and then the two babies up there. It just gets super loud sometimes. You just need a little uh, woman cave break. See, I caught myself there getting low with my voice, and I cannot afford to do that with this um, microphone. This microphone is not good. So, anyways, I twirled, you know, you see me twirling the brush there. Making some knot holes. I don't know if I don't know what happened if it froze up for you but it just froze up for me oh my whole system's froze up oh boy okay I don't know if that froze up for you guys or not but my whole thing just froze right up so anyways, I'm showing you how nice they look, how nice they turned out. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, for my first time, for my first time working with the, um, now I've made other signs with Dollar Tree signs, but this is the first time that I did the wood look, and this is the first time I've used the long ones. So, anyways, I measured three inches from the edge, uh, you know, both sides. So, I figured that was easier than, you know, it's just to pick a number, look, you know, where it looked good. And then, uh, running out of glue right at the, right at the most important time. And, uh, only having one hand to work with. So there then, I squished it down real hard. I did not use wood glue, because like I said, this is going up in my house. 
so if it comes loose, which I seriously, seriously doubt, um, I can just fix it. I took them up and I showed my husband and he's like, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> well, how about you come downstairs and check my stuff out sometimes? He doesn't. Even if he does come down here, he doesn't look around. He's, he's got a... I got interrupted. I hope it didn't mess us up too much, but even if he does come down here, he's got an agenda. Anyways, um, three inches in from both sides seemed to work out really nice. So, I did get that one crooked. I was trying to fix it, but it was already it was already down. So here we go with the Velcro. Um, I had to go dig in my stash, try to find it. It was upstairs in my old craft room. And I'm just going to take a piece. You got the hook in the, the fuzzy part. But I'm going to take a piece and um, put them together. And uh, stick it to the back of my wreath. And then stick it to the door. And uh, I figured that was the easiest way to get it centered instead of just going by the center in case my wreath is off. Um, you know, on one side's bigger than the other or something. So I just figured this was the easiest way to do it. Um, I really hope that you like my video. And I hope you'll um, hit like and subscribe. Um, yeah, it's stuck down really well. And, it, I mean, it worked really well. So I pick it up, it's going to move. But I'm like, oh no, I messed it up. No, just stand it up the way it's supposed to be. And here it is. And here's my beautiful Spongebob tattoo. Anyways, I take this off, then I try to put it back on, and it's comical because <laughs> I can't get it centered because I'm looking at the, at the computer screen. All right. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, look at that. Doesn't that look real? I mean, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. I don't think anybody would be able to tell that it wasn't real wood. Um, I'm going to make a little Christmas wreath. And then I'll make an Easter or springtime wreath, and I'll be able to interchange them. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Stay tuned.